We are cutting this break short because the game is starting. WFZ versus Life in the semi-final of the Chinese Masters Colosseum qualifier. Who will join 1-0 and Joshi Shi for the second stage. And who has to face Shao KK in the game for third for the last slot that we have here. We're going into Echo Isles. That is our first map here. And yeah, should be on paper the best game that we've seen today. Absolutely. Both these players were at GCS, but both disappointing, weren't they? WFZ had some really cool games against Fly and also some wins there, but neither of them made it out of the groups or are mis mis uh, misremembering something. Nope, you're right. Okay. WFZ, we, uh, yeah, we didn't know this was his ID earlier, but we were like, huh. This guy's got really good micro. <laughs> yes. And he's got a lot of A-bombs and a Naga and an expansion. Hmm. So there's one guy in the world who plays like that. And in fact, it was him. And now going up against the Night Elf once again on Echo Isles. Once again, this one, though, is much higher caliber. Life, like it seemed like after GCS, he had a couple of days, maybe two weeks of really strong performance. Then two days ago, he lost to Lucifer, which I'm sorry. Lucifer, but um, yeah, it's not supposed to happen to him. And now, against WFZ, he's actually taking a bit of a risk here early on, going for an Ancient of War creep at the Greedy Camp. Yeah. For a minute, I thought, is he really going to play a Warden? But no, it's a demon. It is. On the other side, we see, of course, the Death Knight and Ghouls, that opening set in stone. But one Ghoul is already making his way over, so we will scout this rather quickly. Yeah, and he went for the less favored build nowadays. It was Crypt and Altar and Ziggurat all at the same time to get the hero out uh, quickly. But that um, results in a little bit less gold because you can't make an Acolyte for a while. There was the opening that was played on TM for a long time to punish the Creeping Night Elf as much as possible. That is good when you can punish him. When you cannot, then it's not so good. But in this case, he totally can with his Greedy Cam. Indeed, he sees it now, so what's he going to do? Intercepting path. some wisps already, doing some damage. And Demon Hunter is only coming out in a bit. So he can't do anything really against it. Because he has to start the creep as well. Lightning Shield, of course, applied to that archer. And so he does some nice damage. But he can't repair, really, right? Unless he brings some more wisps, maybe. I'm kind of surprised the WZ didn't bring more ghouls. He could have brought two more. This would have been so such a catastrophe then to handle for the Night Elf. Of course, it's very expensive in terms of lumber, but may have been worth it. Battling for the last hit here, Demon gets it. Yeah, That is level 2 for him then, and the item as well, so almost perfectly done by Life. He denied, I think, one creep, I'm not sure, but that's about it. And now what can the DK do? I mean, he has Aura first, can't coil, his right clicks aren't too crazy. It was well done by life. Yeah, it was really well defended by him. And a little bit lucky that WZ didn't commit harder for that aggression. I guess he wants to have the faster attack that's more important to him. Would have delayed his attack by a lot had he brought those two ghouls. But as it stands, didn't achieve too much. There is a Shadow Priest now on the Night of. Already has the level 3 and has more safe camps to creep without even needing the Ancient of War making it very possible for this demon to hit a very early level 3 in this yeah, game. I agree. Tier 2 tech on the way on both sides. WFC is slightly ahead. And ooh, he's creeping this ballsy move. The DK is right around the corner, but again, no coil. He's just helping the undead a little. Yeah, with the parry up here, he is pretty tanky indeed. Would love to get this item, but can't risk this around. Can't dive too deep. Circle for the DK. Oh, almost walking into a surround. He wasn't yeah. paying attention. Was looking somewhere else as his mercs were getting ready to creep his natural. Surround gets uh, keeps closed, and he didn't kill a ghoul. Wow. And the TP is gone. That was a little sloppy from the 21 year old life. Shouldn't really happen on that stage. But okay, as you said, a little distracted here. Circle of ability for him, two mercs, and the engine of war in position. So this is going to be a fast level three. He's also going for Huntress Hall is in time. We see a graveyard here as well. 
so no slip ups in the build order but WFC is getting ready for a little more harass didn't bring another rod of necromancy which is very unusual forgot about it perhaps or didn't quite have the money demon in the middle gets the boots really needs, needs those now doesn't have a TP anymore even yeah. the boots only is kind of risky without the Telly staff. But he is truly tanky now with the evasion with a 825 HP. Nice Wisp Scout here. Sees the creep camp happening. Won't be able to interrupt this in time to prevent the level 2. DK hits it here. And the Lord of the Rings found, finds one more of his favorite. What is it? Items. <laughs> I was looking for a better word. <laughs> Rewards. Trinkets. And gets a ghoul! And that's almost level 3 already. And there's a second hero once again in Naga. We haven't seen a single panda today, right? All the rage was Naga here. And so with that hero, life has, of course, the upper hand. With that mighty right clicks and the slow. Lich and the second here Lucy. make it uh, tempting to go for the unit kills. Yeah. But he's gonna lose a lot of ghouls if he commits to this. So far he has only lost one, that's totally fine, especially against the Naga. Naga's strategies kind of revolve around killing quite a few ghouls in the early and mid game. Because he has such a hard time killing them when they're frenzy, doesn't have that big AoE of a panda. Double engine of lore in the tier 3 tech from life. The engine of war is getting in position to creep up more, but that's gonna take some time. Because he's in the middle of the map at the moment. What's going on at the end that he's going for a slaughterhouse in tier 3 as well. Pretty standard so far. But of course the big one is here, the lost town portal on life side. And he couldn't really make up for it for now. Oh, gets the big one. Experience for the Night Elf, but the bigger one, the, uh, the item for the DK would have been a greater healing. Really nice. And now Nova coming in. Nice. He hits both targets, secures both kills with this really good usage. But he only had the one Nova thanks to that burn and he's taking a lot of damage. Again trying for the surround. Not sure that that's gonna work. Oh, but he has the healing potion actually. Maybe he can keep it stuck. Oh man, he's sacrificing a lot of ghouls for this. He has to get this kill, but I think he will. No! No, he has no mana anymore. Can the Lich reach? No, too much HP. That was a huge commitment by WFZ. Three ghouls dead, I guess. Two, two, three was at least three i think it was three yeah so that makes the ghoul tally four kills that is kind of what you want to have with another yeah. and now he's back in the game after that tp loss earlier good wisp spread once again vision everywhere for life a player's forces are under attack oh, i love this he's stealing the invul in the middle yeah knows how exposed this demon can be yeah that's pretty cool so he's kind of forced into a town portal? Um, with the staff, of course, he could survive, but there's always yeah. has the drawback that then the demon might be missing for a long time, depending on where the fight is. And here's the expo from Life, which is kind of ballsy. He knows Frenzy's right around the corner, but I guess he feels after that engagement in the middle, he is in a position good enough to do this. No counter expansion by WFZ at this point. But destroy upgrade is coming. Did he finish Frenzy already? No, right? No. Maybe he thinks for two ghouls it's not necessary. How many is this are left in the main? Only two as well. Yeah. So he's not going for Frenzy. It's not worth it. That makes sense, I guess. For only two ghouls, it really <coughs> isn't worth it. His army at the moment really doesn't have a lot of firepower. Two ghouls with no Frenzy, one fiend. And the Lich. No third hero yet for him. Which, okay, I guess. Knowing... Sorry. Knowing that it's WFZ, probably gonna be the Naga. We won't see too many surrounds on this Demon Hunter anymore. Second parry up of Vitality, oh. even. He bought that one, right? Must be. I think the turtle dropped it. Ah, the turtle dropped it, yeah, of course. Um, so he's super tanky now. Naga, of course, always uh, possible to nuke. She's naked as well. Makes it even easier. Yeah. But with no Frenzy Ghouls. Hero focus on the Naga is a lot more difficult. Yeah. Can't reach her too easily. So here is the third hero, the Naga. For WFZ, he used to play her second all the time. Seems like that has changed. 
And this is exactly what the Knight of wants. Go in and out with the demon, be annoying, burn as much mana as you can before the real fight, and then fight with the mana advantage once you have to. We see another Acolyte being added to the mix, so it might be a counter expansion. We don't see Abominations just yet. First Destroyer is up though. 46 supply for the Undead, 46 for the Night Elf as well. Oh, he's attacking the Murlocs while getting creepjack. This is not too good. <laughs> this demon is so tanky, dude. Jesus! He's laying into him. It's just barely doing anything. Riju will get dispelled. Demon not quick enough to get out of there. But there's a second Riju, and now the cool, uh, dispels on cooldown, of course. So this will heal him a lot. The DK in trouble. Invul first. And snare on the bear. The ghouls are already gone. This ensnare might kill the bear. There is one staff, but I think the ensnare might be lasting long enough. He does get that kill. But this Knight of Army is looking a lot more fearsome than what the under has to offer. I agree. So many bears on the ground. There's only one destroyer. Can't really do too much against the Demon Hunter down to, I don't know, 50%, but it's still more than 500, 600 HP. Here's the counter expansion, by the way. So it's just a distraction by WFC at this point, and he gets another Dryad. And all of a sudden, it doesn't look too bad for the undead. Yeah. When life commits really, really deep into the fight, probably WZ is TPing out, so... Yeah, I agree. This is a distraction attack, and it's working out well. He's making good use of his micro, of his kiting. He has that aura, obviously, and there's not so much slow so far. It's like really hard for life to find these kills. He killed the ghouls, yeah, but nothing else. He's sending one bear over right now to attack the expansion. That's pretty cool. And then defend here at his own expo with the rest. It's super hard for him to engage with the engine of war. Uh, close by. The expo is up and started mining. It's gonna be a better angle of attack once his engine of war is down. And yeah, the bear should be able to tear it down. Uh, um. I think so. So, engine of war is gone. Oh, the demon is low HP. The, there's no mana to nuke him anymore. Naga doesn't have fog lightning, the DK dropping pretty damn low. He has a potion though, that's fine. Mana burn again. The Lich is tanking all the damage from the bears, has to go for another invul. Demon has to be careful though. Oh, there's no coil, no nova, no fog lightning. But that's fine. And the A-bomb is saving the expansion. Plus he gets the kill, or does he? Yeah, destroyer pretty fast. Oh, doesn't manually micro him. But he's gonna get him. And he's gonna get the next invul at the shop here. He's right here. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm yeah. gonna grab that one up. That's pretty nice. No TP anymore on any side. Also, he had no resources but at the moment to get the ziggurats up. This expansion is really hurt. So, with the new patch, right, on that expo's become a lot stronger. Is that a buff to WFZ? <laughs> or not a buff to him because he can do it anyways, but a buff to all the other undeads? Oh, that's a good question, man. Well, if he can do it now, it should be even easier for him to do it then, right? But at the moment, there's no towers here yet. Two ziggurats gonna finish. Once those are narrow and spirit, this is super hard to break. That will take some can time. Can life hit the timing here to kill this? He has four bears. Should be doable. He has blight, of course. More regen for WFZ. And the hero levels are good. Inventory as well, except the DK, who's completely blank. And he's... Struggling with the damage here, he's trying to force the demon away, but he's so tanky! Yeah. So tanky! Level 4 now, 1200, 25 HP to stop, finishes just barely in time, now he can go for potions, mana, healing, whatever he may need. The Lich, Invul, that one came from the shop, obviously more rejuvenation, the Destroyer hits the Dispel again, that was important, but the bears, man, it's so hard to deal with those. So many fiends are falling, this is ridiculous! Can he somehow strike back? The Nairob Tower is up, gets one bear, the is still is so slow. And he holds on. Whew, that was close. That took all of his potions. He has yeah. no invuls anymore, no healings. That was just barely enough. And this time, for the first time, there should be an invul for life. Oh, actually, there's nothing ready the here. But his expo is starting to pay off heavily now as well. Attack upgrades, defense upgrades, all that good stuff. WC take the risk to... Creep this as well. 
Oh, I love the sacrificial pit position though. Oh, but he's coming in, not towards the expansion. He's trying to creep jack him here, and he's definitely gonna find the right angle. No TP. Can WZ reposition? He wants to get back to his towers, but the bears are still far away. They are slower, of course. Okay, finishes the murloc and retreats into the safety of his towers. Ziggurat is upgrading to the spirit tower as well, and this will finish before the fight starts. This is such a nightmare to fight into with bears. Yeah. He does have a lot of dryads now, Almost but they don't have no the best damage surface. against buildings, of course. Seventy night of supply. Looks very strong, and he realizes, okay, I can't do anything at the expansion. Maybe at the main. Yeah, I like that. Also, trying to perhaps catch off reinforce reinforcements if there should be any. Doesn't quite find them. The shop is really exposed. That could be an easy, easy pick off. Let's hit level 3 right here from the camp. Parry up again, this time for the DK. Siege bears everybody, slaughterhouse is gone, and the shop will follow. Thanks to yeah, your notice for me. Yeah, siege. Thousand gold on, on his bank as well. And he's going for the main. WFC has to get out of his comfort zone at the expansion where there's towers and everything. To keep this black citadel alive. <coughs> Repositioning here, the Naga, she's the weakness. Coil, where's the Noah follow up? There it is, and the Naga is just dead. He didn't bring a TP? He doesn't have a TP here. Also no staff. Repositioning TP from the undead side. <laughs> Three A-bombs again. So unique to see this. But there's still a south. lot of bears. Yeah, I don't think he wants to attack. Yeah. With the repair, they can't really do anything against these towers, not with WFZ on his heels. And if the Naga had something to survive there, Please maybe he can force a fight Dude, with a bigger army. It is double Chimera Roost for life. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This oh, against Undead. Oh, man. Oh, if this goes unscouted, yeah. I don't think... He only I has two think. fiends. Yeah. I mean, Naga Lich are of course good against them as well, but he needs to take them out, otherwise the A-bombs will just pop in seconds. If he does get the web though, and the chims are in a somewhat bad position, yeah. they are gonna die fast. Yeah. Here we see 70 supply, but no gold at all. The inventory saying nothing on the Naga, mana potion and TP on the DK. Is he trying for the tree snipe? I don't think he can. You just distract more. There's quite a bit of normal damage here, but the bears are close by. Shouldn't really work. But this little funnel down here, this little choke, is the dream position, of course. Life doesn't want to follow him into there. Right, here we go. Uh, no, here we don't go. <laughs> He's trying to snipe the tree. But the A-bombs have to go back and forth. It's not ideal use for them. Two destroys in the air, but a good amount of dry and raw being used. Where's the dispel? Don't see it. Okay, there we go. DK dropped really low there in the front line. Is he really gonna save everything? Oh, yes. look at this. Three units, ultra red, all get saved. But now, ladies and gentlemen, twin-headed dragons coming your way. Dude, I, I think I, ca I casted <laughs> a game with Chims the last time, maybe a year ago. Ooh, this is cool. Do you still know what they do, or should I explain it? Uh, I think uh, they shoot lightning, and they do damage. That's absolutely correct, especially against heavy armor. And that is what the abominations have. He needs some time to heal up. How much time does... Life need to get oh, them done. Oh, and WFZ we... absolutely has no read on this. The units he's making is meat wagons. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. That's not good. For he has him. Three fiends, which may not even have web. Ah, oh, okay, here we go. He's researching web. Does he have the time to complete it? There's no bears here at the moment. If this doesn't finish, he can tap out. 
The shade may have seen the chim roost in the main. I'm not sure. And web is finishing. That was lucky. Where are the chims? They, he hides them at the gold mine. Ah, oh, yeah. Second attack upgrade coming, as well as corrosive breath. He's gonna use them to siege as well. One of the big advantages for Night Elf in the super late game, in the good army fights, everything shares an upgrade type. Oh, he finds this wagon. That's most likely a free kill. So to do that down and save now. The two parry apps are actually worth so much for the Demon Hunter. Yeah. Like, usually <laughs> never a key item that, that changes the game, but... If you have 300 more HP on yeah. one of the tankiest heroes in the game, then... That's fair. All he right. has 93 supply. Like... What's he gonna do against these chimps, dude? I don't know. Good position for the meat wagons, though. They're very. Oh, oh my god, the A bombs. <laughs> Here is Web. He has to take oh, them out one. super fast. Lich is in trouble. Raw being applied. One Chimera down. But as he's committing for these gym kills, the bears are doing a lot of damage. They're not being kited against or anything. And he has to TP out of this. How much more is he gonna lose? The Naga for him is in trouble. She's level 3 and that saves her. <laughs> 30 <laughs> HP. Oh man, I don't think we promised too much when we said that this is gonna be the best game of the day so far. Life lost a lot though. He was at 93 when the fight started. Now he's at 77 and a chim is still in production. Yeah, I think uh, that fight was a little bit earlier than life would have liked. You know, yeah. only two chims, they can get focused. But once it's four or five, you won't be able, able to snipe all of them so quickly anymore. WFZ is in high upkeep, Remo. When do we ever and see he's this? He's still making A bombs? Yeah, right, this is so weird. And fiends. Fiends make sense, of course. Question is, what else do you do aside from fiends? In a crazy world, you play banshees, but he certainly doesn't have the time for that. Would you like to throw in a guard, maybe? Get sniped too easy, right? I don't know. I really I don't know. So. Yeah, I think Fiends is your best shot. Oh, dude, he can snipe the he can snipe the tree, or at least he can buy time. He has meat wagons. He has a bombs. Oh, he has three meat wagons. He can upgrade easily kill that with one attack upgrade as well. Yeah, but he is very low on upgrades on the other side. Two, two already, and not more at the Man. moment. He snipes it. This tree's dead, or is oh, it? Is it? Repair is getting killed. Town portal yes. arrives. Why is he not TPing? He has to TP now. So many chimeras, but also illusions. Wait, the Naga fought, fell, and okay, the Death Knight TPs out now. Actually, not. And he leaves the wagons. Oh my oh, God, WFZ boy. failing towards the end here, maybe. Wait, why did, didn't this? He missed the chimera shot. Ah, oh, it was an illusion. <laughs> I was just about to say, like, what the hell? How can he miss this? Yeah, that was that TP was way too late. Yeah. He should have TP'd three seconds earlier. He saves at least one. A player's forces are under attack. It's just an illusion. He saves two of the meat wagons. I mean, in total, what did he lose? Certainly the Naga and yeah. one wagon. I yeah. couldn't but keep track of the rest. Me neither. It was all... Like... If, that, if that's all, it's totally fine. That's totally fine. He was at like 85 fish supply. He lost another wagon. Night Elf, 89 supply, two more chims will be coming, but at the moment, no mining. However... Exactly, Mango mines to try. However, the tree is moving south. There we go. What a crazy see. game, dude. This is so fun. And it's very cool for WFZ that he's down to, like, normal upkeep now. <coughs> Not high upkeep anymore. Uh-oh, uh -oh, this Naga won't be coming back from the altar. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Russet Breath, super long range siege. Making guards else. actually. Getting up a second crypt. But he doesn't have a lot of supply available for a lot of gargoyles. Is he really gonna make gargs instead of his naga? It looks like it. 
Oh my yeah, god, maybe this, is six, this is six gyms with 2-2 two, two yep. roar. Yep. <sighs> it's so sick. Oh my god, so much damage. And he can attack from range, so life only needs a good position, I guess. Going for the Necropolis now. First shot was without roar. Needs to be dispelled. Nova dispelled a little. Oh my god. It's like the Knight of Super Death Ball Army. Yep. How are you supposed to fight this? Very, very, very You need harsh. like 20 gargoyles. Acolytes are coming from the main for more repair, maybe. He has two gargs now. What can they do against Demon Hunter and... Seven Chimeras. Whoa! Did he just oh, one he volley an abomination? <laughs> it wasn't far away. Seven chimps. Somewhere Ugri like, is listen. watching and he's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> MFA style coming in. Yeah, look, they one shot everything here. Yep. This is just so sick. Gave him the time. So, final fight oh, now. Oh. DK about to die. Oh my god, next volley. Yeah, gotta electrocute him. Gargs don't do too much, I oh guess. Oh my god, this <laughs> damn. He is dropping so hard in supply and life takes this one with a very unique Chimera transition into the also unique WFZ playstyle. That was a cool game to start a series, boys yeah. and girls. And that was like the dream Warcraft fan game. It was unique, it was close, and it was very well played from both sides. Yes. Aside from a few mistakes. Yes. But that was that was super cool, man. That was awesome. Indeed, that was absolutely what we came here for, Chinese Pro Warcraft. Is this professional Warcraft? Hell yeah. <clears throat> that was indeed sexy. <laughs> Dude, uh, those A-bombs though. It's a, little it's, a little, it's, a, oh. it's a little disappointing that they didn't go to 100 supply. That was, was pretty, pretty, pretty weak. <laughs> you got to complain after that game, Neo. <laughs> After that game, you're you know complain. me. I complain all the time. <laughs> I wonder, like, if WZ had not transitioned into wagons, but into mass gargs, would that have yeah. covered all of his bases? I don't think. Like, he had to go. Uh, the invite is there, by the way. Um, he had to go double crypt and then start production. Yeah, that, he had to do that took yeah. quite some time. I mean, the wagons were amazing for killing bases, obviously. Yeah. But if it's only about really fighting... I um, mean, we saw it's good against A-bombs and stuff. And also against fiends, it's like just one volley and they're dead. No, you're talking about chimps. I'm talking about wagons. Ah, wagons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... <clears throat> because, yeah, when you go a lot of A-bombs and wagons, of course, chimps are the dream. Yeah. He just wasn't able to transition into anything useful. Because he saw the Naga of life, of course, very early on. And against Naga, Gargs are always good. But your Knight of Opponent is on two base. Um, so mass hippo transition is always a possibility. Yeah. Difficult. Thank you, Enti, for the host. Nice to see. Close to 2,000 here. For, I think, the first time in a while. Since GCS, maybe? Very cool. And GTR. we're far from done. Yes. Um, the War 3 Alive Cup is running at the same time. Of course, we're waiting for this competition to finish. Happy already in the semis. Uh, Cash will follow. And looks good for Focus and Foggy as well. So maybe we only see the final. But I guess this Warcraft here is absolutely worth it. We're going on to map number two. That is Ancient Isles. And WFZ has to win, otherwise he goes into the game for third, for the second, uh, for the third spot. Or for the fourth spot in the qualifier. Where Shao KK is waiting. Um, I must say, I imagine Shao KK will be the underdog, no matter who he's gonna face. But let's take this one step at a time. Life in the bottom right, in Neo's favorite coal color. Oh, it's blue for me. Really? It's cool for me. And the other guy is red though, right? Yes. WZ. And this is this weird thing with the graphics card colors stuff. See guys, this is blue for me. Yeah, something that's weird about this, I don't know. 
Uh, da, 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 there was a question here. How do you have that great in-game zoom out? It's uh, built into Netties. You can change the camera angle there. Wait, what? It's a little zoomed out. You can do that in Netties. You can change uh, the camera angle. Or the, the, what's called, field of view distance or something. Or the camera distance. So you have when? to, so you have to scroll in a little bit and then you can zoom out a little bit further than the default uh, camera is. Oh. Huh. But you have to enable it somehow, right? I think it's in the options. I don't know if I enabled it or not, but it's not like I'm using a hack for that or something. It's just built into Netties. Uh, no, I think I actually have the same. Anyways. <laughs> Ma number are two. At, are we back at 500 subs? No, we're far away from that. Under siege. At the moment. So, Demon Hunter for life, who has the match points. Engine of War, of course, next to the Ogre Magi, which is what we always see on this map. And for WFC, we have Death Knight and Ghouls, of course. And is there, maybe, Remo, a creep route that you and WFC share on this map? <laughs> well, there's, of course, Remo special creep routes, as there are everywhere. But WZ doesn't really do that against Knight, I don't think. But since you ask, yeah, you can creep... Uh, the, the merchant with only DK and skeletons that does work, but it's risky. You can also bring the ghouls that fastens it up a little bit, but WLZ, he's not a fan of that too much as it seems. Once again, he's going to be playing this very aggressively, much like he did on map number one. Remember, he didn't go for creeping at all, he ran over immediately, didn't accomplish too much. Here, the aim is to ideally kill his ancient of war. Oh my god, he's gonna get this. Boy getting close he can eat the trees oh. and then heal up of course there's more corpses if he wants to oh the damage is reduced now wisp comes in for the repair and i guess he saved this one. Oh boy i was so close Woo, baby that could have screwed up his late early game i guess and that would have been like really difficult would have been only one archer five ghouls would have been in his main in a moment yeah dude how greedy is life he is one moon while taking against undead. Yeah. And against WFZ, who's yeah. one of the few undeads who still run the runs into your base. And that moon while is even hurt. <laughs> this is really something. But it's a super fast tech, of course. So here come the ghouls. Six of them. One, however, hurt. And the demon is looking for the intercept, I guess. Yep. Oh, nice positioning. Actually, let's them go. I want to get the boots here, and he will grab them. A town is under siege. But he only has two archers at the moment. In this moonwell, it's not too unlikely that it's gonna fall. And with all those ghouls, easy. Oh, in the middle, look at this. The ghoul was delaying a little bit longer here for the demon to find the kill around the tree. But now it's panic. Management time for the night of in the main. Everything is getting attacked at the same time. You have to micro like a madman. Everything has to be sent away. And the demon is supposed to do the damage. And slowly but surely force the undead out of his base. But now he has three archers. It's only five ghouls left. So honestly, it's not even so scary anymore. Yeah, he only lost the wisp, right? That's about it. Mm, yeah, I think so. Really good early game for life. Yeah, I agree. T2 take us around the same time. Oh, WFC forgot about his graveyard. But there is no hunt. Oh, there's the hunter's hall. Also late. So both T1 and a half buildings are delayed here. Interesting. Yeah. A little more painful for the night elf who wants to get the dryads ASAP. Whereas the slaughterhouse can be delayed by a little bit. You can also go for a naga if you want to. I wouldn't be surprised to see that hero exactly right yeah. now. Especially with the ghouls. Like, is this the right timing for WFC to attack? Like, tier 2 is gonna be done in a second. It's obvious there's gonna be a Naga. Yeah. I really don't know about this attack timing here. Especially oh. without having his own Naga. Yeah. Oh, I like that. He's sending the Naga away the, uh, you know, around the other way. 
So he's going to be able to get the slow off. So at least one attack. ghoul should be his prize. Despite the decent DK blocks, but honestly not that good of a DK block. He's losing more. Naga paid off already. Good eye, sniper. That's three ghoul kills in total so far. He's playing this really well. Like It's so funny how he stepped up his game compared to GCS. We have two new subs, by the way. Afarios, thank you very much for your prime sub. And send this 32 for 22 months already, man. Close to two years. Thanks a lot. Hi, guys. I'll be in Grafenwoer in August. I have to look up where that is, but it sounds like it's <laughs> yeah, close to me. Like a lot of sounds, stuff is called... Sounds Nordic, Bavaria. though. Yeah. It's not. It's in Bavaria. Oh. That is sad. Pretty much far away from both of us. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He just got wrecked. <laughs> GG. Holy well. cow life, man. He tore him a new one here on Ancient Isles. With a one Moonwell tech. Almost losing his Ancient of War. This game was over in six freaking minutes. And Remo says nothing. But just sips. too too early of a GG. Some people ask here. Yeah, probably frenzy ghoul timing against Naga can always do something. But it was against someone like Life. This game is very very likely over. Yeah, I agree. So two zero for Life. Two Night Elves uh, win this qualifier basically. Winning, winning. So we have uh, one to zero, Zishi and Life in there. And either another undead with WFZ or the first orc. No humans in the main qualifier then for China. That's weird. But yeah, we have one more game from the Chinese side before we go into the Korean European side with War 3 Alive Cup. And so we're going to be back with WFZ versus Shao KK for the fourth spot. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> 